Uh, Dunny starting with the other night was, of course, extremely disappointing. Just from your point of view as captain, what was your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it was obviously nowhere near good enough. Um, with obviously the two good performances that we had put in that week, um, to then go and put in a performance like that, it's, it's nowhere near good enough. Tomorrow gives us a chance to start fresh. Do we sort of need to put Wednesday out of our minds and really sort of start showing what we what we're about? Because we, as you yeah. said, we've done it. Well, like, I think it's I think it's got to the point where we can't keep having three games bad, three games good. It can't be a yo-yo team if you want to if you want to do anything in the league. You just got to be um, every week's got to be the same. So we need to take what we've done from the two games before and from the previous games and cancel and cancel out all the silly mistakes that we're making and the goals that we're conceding are just not good enough at the moment. It's just becoming too easy. So we need to cut that out and, uh, and hopefully we can push on from Saturday. Just from a player's point of view, how do you put your, your finger on the kind of inconsistencies in the performances? I think it's just the mentality thing in yourself and, and as a team, you've got, you've got to be much better. Um, it's just work, working hard, you know, when you're, when you're 3 0 down, it, it, you know what it's like with this league. There's it, still a chance to get back in it, although, okay, we're 3 0 down, but we have, to, we have to carry on. We can't then go and concede another two sloppy goals and then a couple of um, offside goals as well. It's, it's not good enough. We've, we've had chances in games. I watched the Halifax game back last night. At 1 0, we have two massive chances yeah. to equalise, which may have made it into a different game. Yeah. Um, how important is it we start being a bit more ruthless in both boxes? Because that's what's ultimately costing us at the moment. Yeah, I think that's is what, it is what's costing, costing us at the moment. We haven't, we haven't been defending well and we haven't been putting the ball in the back of the net. But like you say, if, if, if you take their goals away, we've been looking okay still need better still need to be better but we've been looking all right so yeah we've just got to like you say both boxes defend well and and put the balls in the back of the net be ruthless is it a, it's a good chance <coughs> tomorrow with our fans being back in the ground and it's a, a local derby if you will with Wildstone it's the kind of game that we really would like to bounce back in yeah I think that's the good thing of, about obviously not good thing about Wednesday because we lost but Two three days later, you're you're back playing again uh, with the fans back in, which would be a big push for us and good for us as well. So yeah, no, look forward. Obviously, it's good. I'm glad that the fans are coming back now, and and I think football can sort of move on now. If we can start on the front foot tomorrow, we can really probably have the fans right behind us, and that can be used to our advantage. Yeah. Particularly with no away fans in the ground. Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously, we need to use that to our advantage wherever we play. You should you, your home ground should be as yeah, it is, but we're having the fans there and no fans for them. We've got to sort of get them on us because obviously they're, they're they're not happy like we're not happy. So we need to get them on our side early on, and and hopefully that that take us through the game. Just lastly, what will your message be to the boys in the dressing room just before kick off tomorrow? Just like like you say, it, it, both boxes at the moment. We need to be more ruthless at the top end and we need to be more ruthless in, in the defending box as well.